Okay, so it's cold and it's winter and, and then everyone's like, oh my god, you know what would be good? Chicken noodle soup. And then they go to the store and buy it pre-made. But if you knew that you were just 30 minutes away from the greatest chicken noodle soup of your life, then that might just change. Today we are making the most, pretty much to me, one of the most nostalgic foods in American history of all time. This is like one of those foods that when I look back to when I was cooking and eating with my mom all the time, one of the things that she made was the dopest chicken noodle soup of all time. A bunch of things have happened this week alone. We hit 100K on Instagram and we got verified and we hit a million on TikTok. By the way, I'm on TikTok. But uh... Yeah, I'm on there. Click the link and go check me out. I love you. That wasn't supposed to be a plug, it was just me saying thank you, so. Anyway, with that said, let's make this, shall we? Okay, so the chicken noodle soup itself only takes 30 minutes. Obviously, you're gonna need chicken stock on hand, which takes longer, but there are many ways you can go about this. I always make my chicken stock ahead of time, and then I just have big batches of it chilling in the freezer, you know? And then I just pull out what I need for whatever I'm making. For example, chicken noodle soup. I do have a recipe for it. It'll be in the link in the description. Roast the bones, I roast the veg, I make it real just like roasty and deeply flavored. You can absolutely use store-bought, but I have something to say about that. Hey, you could use this, but you can also make your own. And uh, it'd be a lot cooler if you did. If you make your own stock, it's gonna be a much better chicken noodle soup. I'm just saying. Now this is real simple. You're just gonna chop up one onion. I like to get the onion a little smaller. Three carrots, at least a half an inch thick so they don't get overcooked. And four celery ribs, same, you know, same dimensions. Not, not too complicated. Don't cut the vegetables too thin or else they'll turn too squishy mushy, not good. And yes, the knife is freshly sharpened and it did just get itself caught in the board because it literally sliced into the wood and stuck itself in there. So now we're gonna sachet our herbs, aka bouquet garni. So basically you're gonna take the stems from one bunch of parsley, not the leaves, just the stems, half a bunch of thyme and half a bunch of, and half a bunch of Jesus and half a bunch of sage. Place it in the lower third of an eight by eight inch cutout of cheesecloth. Grab the cheesecloth, roll it around and roll the herbs up in the cheesecloth and then fold over the edges and then tie it together with some kitchen twine. And there you go. You just, that's a, it's like a nice little tea bag from Flavortown. Okay, now you can use thigh or breast. I actually did two thighs and two breasts, which equated to about two pounds total or one kilo. Now, I like to use skin on and I'll tell you why in a second, but first take the skin off and reserve it to the side. Now heat a five to six quart pot over medium high heat. Add two and a half tablespoons of cooking oil of your choice. Now, once that's as hot as the surface of the sun, that's not accurate. Without overcrowding the pan, you're gonna sear your chicken in batches for two to three minutes per side. So until nice and golden brown. Do not skip that beautiful color there. Once you're done searing them, place them on a plate on the side. They're not gonna be cooked all the way through. We're just getting some color on it. Now you see those stuck brown bits in the bottom? That's money. Now set that same pot over medium heat and add a tablespoon or 14 grams of unsalted butter and let that cook over medium heat just until it begins to brown. Like just barely, it's gonna start smelling nutty and nice. Then add all of your chopped vegetables. Season lightly with salt, Stir and saute for one to two minutes or just until the vegetables begin to soften. Then add two and a half quarts or 2.3 liters of good chicken stock. Stir and scrape the bottom to get that fawn deglazed, which is those brown stuck bits, by the way. Turn the heat up to high, and then as soon as it starts to come to a boil, then immediately reduce the temperature to low and bring to a simmer. Add your chicken back to the pot, add your little bouquet of herbs, and simmer for 20 to 25 minutes or until the chicken's cooked all the way through. Okay, now while that's simmering, this is totally optional. Remember how I recommended keeping the skins on your chicken? We're gonna make crispy chicken skin chips. If you're really into crispy chicken skin, this is for you. Again, optional. But you literally just take a baking sheet, lay down some parchment paper, spray the parchment paper with oil, set your chicken skins on that. Make sure any excess fat on them has been scraped off and that they're laying completely flat. Really spread them out nicely. Lightly season them with salt, spray the chicken skins with oil, and then place them in an oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 to 20 minutes or until nice and golden crisp. Once done, set them over a paper towel to drain and cool. They're insane. And these go well with a lot of different things. Once your soup's done cooking, remove the cooked chicken breasts. Let it sit just until it's cool enough to handle with your hands. You know, I've got my asbestos hands on my side, so. Sorry, don't mean to flex, but I'm flexing. At this point, you know, while we're waiting for the chicken to cool down, everything's pretty much done at this point, right? If you want to make your own pasta for this, which I have before, you know me, extra, but also in the nature of 30 minute chicken noodle soup, there's no problem with using dried noodles. Just make sure that you boil them separately. I don't like to add them to the broth just because it starches up the broth and I really, really just don't like that. Just boil your noodles according to package instructions, but just reduce it by a couple minutes so they're a little 
undercooked, then add them to the broth right before you're about to serve and they'll cook the rest of the way in the broth. Once your chicken's cool enough to handle, shred it by hand or with forks or whatever, just shred it into little pieces. It's not that hard. Remove your bouquet of herbs, and then add it back to your broth along with the noodles and all that blah blah blah. Now this part is crucial, this is where a lot of people mess up. Season now. Now is the time to season it to taste. Get a spoon, get some salt, and just start seasoning, tasting, seasoning, tasting until it tastes perfect to you. Finish it with a little bit of black pepper. And now you have the most delicious chicken noodle soup ever. Now if you wanna take it extra fancy with extra extraness, then you know, you would've made those chicken skin chips. You can add those to the broth right before you serve because they will go soggy the longer they sit in there. Don't do that. And then to be Josh Weissman extra, you shave a little bit of winter black truffle on top of that. I don't mean to flex too hard, but hey, here we are. But do you wanna know what else flexes too hard? B-roll. is it so chicken noodle soup you know what it is i don't need to explain what it is it's one of the greatest soups of all time and if you make it right i don't know why i'm so hype about this i am hype as for chicken noodle soup guys can i just be excited and sweat a lot right now because i am sweating yeah so short and sweet and to the point can't be mad at that so with all that said if you enjoyed this video or you learned something leave a like subscribe and i will see you next time <laughs>